My old car didn't pick the best day to break down. And getting around the city on foot doesn't seem like a very practical option. So it looks as if it's time to make a quick decision. I've had it. I'm going to buy a new car. For six to seven thousand euros, I should be able to find something. Here, there's a whole row of car dealerships. Let's see if I can drive away with the cheapest car ever. 7,500 euros for a new car, that sounds good. I make my first stop at Dacia, the Romanian subsidiary of French car maker Renault. Sandero is the name of Dacia's bargain vehicle. It sells for 7,500 euros, but with the scrapping bonus it could be mine for just 5,000. The Sandero boasts a 75 horsepower engine, anti-lock brakes and airbags, everything I need. Can I take it away now? Not anymore, we're all sold out. You could take delivery in June or July. So much for getting a car straight away for 5,000 euros. All the Sanderos are gone. Since January, demand has risen by more than 400%. But what about the vehicle we're sitting in? We can't sell these vehicles, then we'd have no display models. The cheapest car I could drive away with here is a Renault Modus. It's the dealership's demonstration model. But despite that, its price tag is more than I wanted to pay. I couldn't leave with a vehicle for 5,000 euros, but I can drive off the lot with this demonstration model. I still have to pay around 9,000 euros for it, but that's less than the regular price, thanks to the German government's incentive scheme. Next, I visit a Skoda dealership. Its top-selling small car is the Fabia. It doesn't come quite as cheap as the Dacia, but it still looks like a bargain. How much is the cheapest model? The basic model starts at 10,280 euros. That's the list price, but it's negotiable. Once you take off the 2,500 euro bonus, then you get the car for roughly 8,000 euros. For that, you get a brand new car. But once again, you have to be patient. The waiting time for a Fabia is at least three and a half months, even though Skoda is doing its best to meet demand. Currently, about 80% of the global production of Fabias and Roomsters is going to Germany. So we're trying to satisfy German demand. But unfortunately, we have very long delivery times. We can't change that now. Here, too, I'll have to spend a lot more money to take a car away with me. It would be a one-year-old diesel Fabia station wagon. It would cost a few thousand euros more than the most basic Skoda. So I could drive away with this car immediately. Yes, this could be your car. For 11,500 euros, you could get in and drive it off the lot. Then I'll take it for a spin. Okay, here's your key. Have a good trip and lots of fun with the car. I make a final attempt to buy a cheap car at Peugeot. Here they offer the sporty little 107 for 7,500 euros with the government cash incentive. This could be my saviour. But you guessed it. Can I take the 107 away with me? Not the 107. It has a delivery period of about two months. But the 308 would be an option. It's a quantum leap. The Peugeot 308 is a much bigger car. Even with all the discounts, it still set me back some 13,500 euros, almost twice the price of Peugeot's smallest model. I had to shell out 13,500 euros to drive away with this car, much more than I'd expected to pay. But the really cheap cars are all gone. At least I won't have to walk home.